all good things must come to an end, and um, as as do mediocre things too. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. You know who it is, and according to this new article in Double XL, and there are multiple publications reporting on this right now, Adult Swim discontinues its MF Doom Missing Notebook Rhymes series, which if you guys haven't been following my Best and Worst Tracks of the Week videos, MF Doom has been sort of dropping these tracks one week after another through Adult Swim off of a page on their website, much in the same way that Adult Swim drops, you know, the Adult Swim single series every year. However, this year they're doing like 52 singles. And this was going to sort of be an added awesome on top of that. I don't know, an added thing on top of that. Another single series that they were doing this year, but it was just MF Doom B-sides, MF Doom extras, new or uncovered MF Doom material that fans are yet to hear. And now we're hearing just out of the blue that it's it's done for. It's closed up. Shop's gone. And something that Double XL points out over here miraculously, something that I didn't even notice because honestly, as much as I do enjoy MF Doom, I do think that he has a lot of mediocre material out there. Uh, his best stuff is very accessible. His best stuff is <laughs> on record. His best stuff typically came out in a very limited space of time uh, around the 90s and 2000s. And apparently some of the material that has been being released through this Notebook Rhyme series uh, was stuff that was already floating out there around the internet, like verses that were already out there or tracks that were just kind of merely remixed or had a different instrumental or something like that. Hardcore MF Doom fans were obviously uh, dealing with a bit of deja vu because uh, <laughs> it's like, hey, we've, we've been here already. And I don't know if that was exactly what um, led Adult Swim to cut ties with Doom over this or if it was Doom kind of being fickle over this whole thing because Doom ha hasn't exactly built uh, a reputation for himself as being one of the most consistent artists out there in the music industry. Uh, he could have easily decided to end this out of the blue for whatever reason he wanted. Uh, and, and some of this stuff could have been, you know, being made on the fly or something or thrown together on the fly. And maybe he didn't have the wherewithal to just kind of keep it up. Uh, or he was, again, getting complaints from Adult Swim staff that uh, uh, fans were essentially figuring out that this material was not uh, actually new or was not completely uncovered. And this is sort of disappointing because this would have been his first big release since like that J.J. Doom album. Sure, he had that Bishop Nehru project, but he wasn't like, you know, uh, a featured rapper all over that album. He was just kind of on the beats on that thing. This would have been his first sizable project since, like I said, the J.J. Doom album. And, um, it would have been nice, you know, to have another complete Doom project, even if it is just kind of B-sides, but he's just sort of at a point in his career where he can't even get that together. I don't know, man. Listen, as much as I love Doom, as much as I love his best material, he's just not an artist who I look forward to putting out new stuff, and that's because he's not very consistent. That's because at this point in his career, he's not very on the ball. That's because at this point in this career, he just doesn't have much in the way of focus, and that's fine. He's put out some amazing t material in the past. Personally, I think he's put out so much amazing material in a very short span of time that at this point, he doesn't really have anything to prove to anybody because he's come out with so much classic and highly influential stuff. So if he wants to be lazy, he could be lazy, but uh, as a result of that, I don't look forward to new stuff. And as a result of this, too, I don't look forward to new stuff. It's also worth noting that there are some publications like our friends at Mass Appeal over here that are theorizing whether or not this whole thing was just one big troll from Adult Swim and MF Doom, given that I guess in the source code on the page where this music was being housed and promoted on the Adult Swim website over here, uh, we have a small piece of text that says uh, a track name is It's All a Lie. 
featuring Jason Marco, which apparently is a name that is very similar to the vice president of Adult Swim, Jason DeMarco, the senior vice president of Adult Swim. And I don't know how much this truly adds to that theory, because surely one party may have been trolling, or at least one party may have just been disingenuous or not completely truthful. I mean, at this point, it's kind of true that at least Doom was not being truthful because he was fully aware that some of the verses and some of the material that he was handing over to Adult Swim was not technically like completely unreleased since either lyrics or entire tracks were already floating out there on the internet in some capacity. Whether Adult Swim was fully aware of that, I'm not entirely sure. Like, they may have thrown this text in there when they had known, like, this whole thing was a lie and that they had caught wind of some of these tracks already being out there. Again, I'm not entirely sure how we should interpret this, but it definitely does bring up more questions and adds more shadiness to an already very shady situation. But let me know what you guys thought of this. Are you disappointed that the Notebook series is done and closing up shop, essentially? Uh, let me know. Are you hating this, loving this? Um, do you have some kind of insight or opinion? Throw it down there in the comments. Over here next to my head is another video you should check out or click on the link to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Fantano. I'm gone.